Okay, now we're going to talk about factoring special cases. First of all, I want you to work the warm up. So pause the video, multiply these binomials, and then come back and check your answer. What do you notice here? These are both identical, right? So when you multiply them out, we end up with a perfect square in the first and the last as last terms. These are opposite signs, so we end up with perfect squares and no middle term. So let's talk about these special cases. There is a perfect square trinomial, and this is the pattern that you use if both of the signs are positive. And then if both one is negative and one's positive, it'll be the difference of squares. So we have a sum of squares and different of perfect squares. And then we have difference of two squares where there's no middle term. You might want to jot these down at the top of a paper. It'll make it easier as you're working your assignment. Okay, let's look at our first example. We've got a perfect square in the, as a first term and the last term. Signs are the same, both positive. So we know that the factors are x plus 25 by looking at our pattern before. Here we have perfect squares. Now these are different signs, so we know that our answer is going to be x minus 9 squared. So x and 9 are both uh, squared in this one. Again, we have a difference of perfect squares. So we need an x plus 4 and an x minus 4 in order to not have a middle term. And finally, what would square to get this? 5x. How about this? 11. Because this is a difference of perfect squares, we need 1 plus and 1 minus. All right, you're ready to begin working on this assignment.